Hi, my dear friends, welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate you that how can you draw this simple letter logo design by using Inkscape. You can also follow this tutorial if you are using Adobe Illustrator or any other vector based graphic design software because I will use simple tools that are available in each and every software. So, without wasting any time, let's start with the tutorial. So, first of all, we will select the document properties. So, go to File select the document properties and from the display units select the pixels and also the custom units to pixels change the width to 1280 and height to 720 pixels now zoom to fit and now select the pencil tool and draw a line or you can draw a straight line by holding down the control key this line looks almost invisible so we will increase its stroke to say 3 pixels. Now we will change the width of the line to 700 to oh sorry 470 pixels like this. We will delete this object and again select the pencil tool and draw a line from this end to this end. Now this line all again looks very very invisible so we will increase its stroke width to 3 pixels and change the height to 85 pixels like this and place this line to this end look that we only place this line to this end if the snap node tools are on so you can on this by just one click like this now select this line right click and duplicate it and place it like here now we can delete this smaller line like this now select both of the lines go to path and select combine now again duplicate this object like this and rotate it at 90 degrees from here we'll place it at this end again duplicate this object and place it at this end again duplicate it and rotate it at 90 degrees like this and place it like here again duplicate this object and place it in a straight line while holding down the control key now select both of these objects like this go to align and distribute menu and select this equal spaces distance now all of these objects are placed at equal spaces now select the circle tool and draw a circle from this end to this end remember that we only need the stroke we doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it by clicking this cross icon like this now again draw a circle from this intersection point to this line like this now we will again duplicate this object right click and duplicate and increase its width to say 700 pixels like this now we want to incline this object or you can say we want to give it some angle so we will go to transform and from the rotate option we will select the angle to 47 degrees and select apply now we will place this object here now again duplicate this object and place it like here again duplicate it and place it like here now we are almost done now select all of the objects go to path and select combine like this now again select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle in such a way that it covers the whole body like this now we want to give this rectangle a solid color so we will select this orange color like this and we want to place this solid body below our main object like this now select both of the objects go to path and select division like this now we can delete the unwanted parts by holding down the delete key with the left click of mouse like this also this one this 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 and sorry we will undo this by using control plus z now again delete 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 you can also delete these objects by simply selecting an object with the left with the mouse and now press the delete key like this 
but the simple method is that you have to hold down the delete key and delete the unwanted objects with the left click of mouse like I'm doing here now this is our final logo now we want to join all of the parts so we will select all of the objects go to path and select union now we only need the solid color and doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel the stroke by holding down the shift key and pressing this control icon with the left click of mouse like this now we want to give our logo some gradient colors now we will select the gradient tool from here and draw a line from this end to this end now select the eyedropper tool from here like this and give this end this color you can easily see the color from the color code and for the this end we will select this color like this now we will finalize our logo with its name so reduce its dimensions mm, like this and give it some colors this R represents the royal and L represents the logos so we will write the name like royal and again write the name like logos now select these logos and change the font to MS P Gothic like this look that this font doesn't look very good with this logo and this is a bolder one and but this is very thinner so we will also bold it by giving it some stroke so from the how can we give it a stroke you can give it a stroke by clicking on this color while holding down the shift key like this now increase the dimension of the strokes like we can increase its dimension to 7 pixels like this it's better now reduce its dimensions like this now select the royal again change its font to MSP gothic like this uh, it's not changed we will again change it to MSP gothic like this reduce its dimensions to say like this one a little more like this now we want to increase the alphabet to alphabet distance like this so the width fits the word logos mm, this is better now we want to give our text some color so again select the dropper tool and select this color and for the logos select the logos and again select the dropper tool and first of all you have to select the left click and again left click it while holding down the shift key to give the stroke some color now select both of the objects group them and place them like here now select both of the objects go to align and distribute menu and place at equal distances like this now we can delete these color codes like this and this is our final logo this is a simple letter logo here r represent the text royal and l represent the logos and this is our channel logo like royal logos so this is for today's tutorial if you think that this tutorial helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel and stay tuned with our channel we will meet in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.